Now the third kind of addition reaction will be addition reaction of NaHSO3 sodium bisulfite. If we take an aldehyde and we add sodium bisulfite to it, then uh, what will happen is first, first what will happen is this HSO3 is going to be attached on this carbon uh, is going to add it, is going to be added on this carbonyl group because uh, it's 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 a nucleophile it's a weak nucleophile but nevertheless it's a nucleophile and because of that nucleophilicity that will attack this carbon and when carbon forms a bond with this it will break a bond and that electron will go to oxygen so oxygen gains a negative charge so you'll have an intermediate like this and sodium will be somewhere around this negative charge like this now because uh, the, now there will be intramolecular acid base reaction imab hydrogen from this bisulfide group will go to that oxygen because negative charge on this so3 minus is more stable because of resonance This is how SO3 minus looks like. Now there will be three equivalent resonating structure of this SO3 minus. Now this charge after resonance can go to this oxygen, can go to this oxygen. So this negative charge is shared by three oxygen. So this is a very stable anion and much stable than single O minus. So that H can will go to oxygen so that a more stable anion is generated. So that's how it will go. All right, so this is a uh, now the sodium ion will come somewhere here. So this is a salt that finally you will get after addition. This reaction is important for practical organic chemistry because this reaction will not occur on a ketone. This reaction will only occur on an aldehyde because this is a bulky group. Sulfur belongs to third period. Now it has three oxygen on it as well. So the structure is like this SO3 minus and if you have 2R group because the carbon has sp3 hybridization state the geometry will be tetrahedral bond angle should have been 109 degree but because of repulsion this bond angle has to increase right so this SO3 minus can't survive between these two R groups because R groups are bigger if you have a hydrogen on one side it can it, this angle can increase between R and SO3 minus and this SO3 minus can be more bent towards hydrogen the repulsion offered is less. So for aldehyde this can exist but for ketone this will not exist. So there is no reaction of hydrogen bisulfide with ketone. The reaction is only with aldehyde. But that is of major advantage for practical organic chemistry. So if you have a mixture of aldehyde and ketone as is the case for most of the reaction. If you remember ozonolysis. Now ozonolysis if you are doing on an alkene that will generate all kinds of carbonyl compounds. Aldehydes, ketones. Now, if we have to separate aldehyde and ketone, then this reaction will be of high importance because in a mixture of aldehyde and ketone, only ketone will go for reaction. So the salt of only ketone will be formed. The aldehyde, sorry, only aldehyde will go for reaction and the salt of only aldehyde will be formed. Ketone will remain as it is. So if this is more soluble, now because it is ionic and because it's a salt, it will be more soluble into the water. So if you filter it out, this will move along with water and ketone will, will remain, will, will, will be the filtrate. So this, 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 this aldehyde part, the salt that has been formed out of aldehyde will go along with the water. The ketone will remain above the filter paper. Now, once you have, so, so in that way, you can separate out ketone and aldehyde. Now, once you have the salt has passed along with the water or along with the solution, then if you add H plus and make the system very acidic, then the reaction will be reversible and you will get back what you started with. Because it is not a, look, it is not a stable compound because anyhow, this, this sulfide ion is a very, very good living group. If you pump in, if you make the system more acidic, this will 
accept H plus and will come out as a leaving group. And when it comes out as a leaving group, this carbon will gain a plus charge. Water will quickly attack this carbon. And again, a similar situation will occur as we have been saying along. Two OH group will come on the same carbon. And when this happens, we know what happens next. Water comes out of this. Gem diol is not stable at room temperature. When you have two alcoholic group on the same carbon, that's not stable. Water comes out and quickly we get a carbonyl compound. In this case, we get an aldehyde. So once you have dissolved the aldehyde, you have separated aldehydes and ketones, then you can regenerate the aldehyde. So this reaction, the addition of sodium bisulfite can be used for separation of aldehyde and ketone. So this becomes an important reaction for POC, practical organic chemistry. All right. So that's the third kind of addition reaction we have done. Okay, so we move on to the fourth reaction and this reaction is more, more would be addition elimination reaction. If we take a carbonyl compound, it can be aldehyde or ketone and if we take an ammonia derivative, look this is ammonia, NS3. If you remove one hydrogen and if you add a group, this Z can be any group. This can be a hydrogen as well. This can be a hydroxy group. This can be another NH2 group. This can be phenyl group. This can be any group. In general, we are writing Z. So we have NH2Z, right? Now, when you remove one hydrogen and when you add another group, that becomes ammonia derivative. So in, we are using a general ammonia derivative now this Z can be a hydrogen as well. So this, this NH2Z can be ammonia as well. Right? So when we take an ammonia derivative and a carbonyl compound, so H2O comes out. Now this nitrogen has lost two bond. This carbon has lost two bond. So both will compensate for the lost two bond by making two bonds among themselves water would come out. This is what you are going to get. The mechanism will, will, will be saying shortly, but to write the product, this is how quickly you will write the product. You will remove hydrogen and water, H2O, like this. And this is what you are going to get.